Hello everyone, welcome back to Journal Output. I am Zainab Altaf. In today in this video, I'm going to show you a bypass which is uh, 5.7.4. In my previous video, I told you a version of a bypass which was 5.7.3. But today in this video, I've brought a new version. So guys, uh, as we always do, this is the activation lock phone and I, this version is absolutely error proof. But it, uh, if it gives one error, I'll, to I'll show you how to fix it. So we'll first start with the check run as we always do. I have iOS 14.2 and I'm gonna run the check run first. So let's run the check run as we always do. We're going to click on the start. The phone is in the recovery mode and then it is going to instruct us to put our phone into the DFU mode. So we'll do the same thing. Telling you once again this version, uh, the new version of the bypass is actually error proof. It will not give you an error. If the error occurs, I'll tell you how to fix it. So let's start and we have already run the check run. Now we'll click on start. And now again going to show you that it is an activation lock. So now you can see it is an activation lock. So now we move to Windows to run the bypass. The link is in down description box. You can go and take out from there. Now we will disable the antivirus as we always do. So let's disable it. Okay. The antivirus has been disabled and one more thing to share with you guys that this is this version is also going to work on iOS 14.3 so now you can see we're going to extract it as we always do and here's the thing that tool the bypass that we're going to use uh, let me zoom in to show you here you can see it is 7.74 and 5.7.4 the new one so now let's open it from here okay as administrator and yes so now you can see this is the interface of the bypass and I'm gonna connect my phone and I'm gonna click on start now here uh, so many people type on and comment on my videos that it gives an error I'll show you how to you know fix it so let's click on start and okay so now let it progress let this complete now you can see it gives an error but you just have to click ok don't worry about it and let this progress let's complete okay so now you can see it gives an error how to fix it you what you need to do is a very simple thing you just need to close the bypass and you need to open it once again from here yes so when you open it and you again click on start okay you again need to click on start and then it's going to work sometimes it gives an error like uh, so you what you have to do is a very simple thing just need to close it and open it once again and it is going to be solved very easily it never happens in the new version but it if, if happens you have to do it it will say to open the check run once again run the check run you have to do it it never gives in but if it gives then you have to run the check run again and if it gives the error that I have got then you have to do the same thing so now you can see it is successfully done And now we're gonna do some bunch of setups. Now you can see the iPhone is successfully unlocked. Let's do the setups and see that it is unlocked. You can see it is completely unlocked. Everything's gonna work in this, but yeah, we have to do one thing. We have to insert the pin locked SIM. So let's insert it. I'm gonna disconnect. And I'm gonna insert the same the pin locked here let's insert it and then you don't have to type anything you don't have to put a pin off you just have to can click on cancel from here okay you don't have to take out the sim okay so now I will power it off to show you that on off is also working the reboot is also fixed let it open 
everything's going to work in your phone your FaceTime, your iCloud account, again you have to click on X, cancel. Okay, you get your FaceTime, your App Store. I'm not putting signing into Apple ID because it, it can take a lot of time and the video will be longer. I hope that you guys liked the video. I hope that you understood everything. Any question, ask down in comment. Thank you so much for watching the video.